Hello students, we are solving the IB Math AHL past paper questions and currently we are solving the IB Math AHL May 2021 paper 1 time zone 2 past paper. And we will be solving question number 8 of this paper today and you will be getting the links to all the previously solved questions of this paper and of the other papers in the description area in form of playlist. So without any further delay, let us start with question number 8. And the maximum mark is 8. Question says the lines L1 and L2 have the following vector equations where lambda and mu are real numbers. The vector equation of line L1 is R1 equal to 3, 2, negative 1 plus lambda, 2, negative 2, 2. So 3, 2, negative 1 is a point on this line L1. Similarly, the vector equation of line L2 is 2, 0, 4 plus mu 1, negative 1, 1. These two, this is the direction vector of the line L1 and this is the direction vector of the line L2. And subpart E says, show that L1 and L2 do not intersect and it contains three marks. L1 and L2 do not intersect. We are seeing the direction vector. Let me write. The direction vector of L one is D one. This is equal to 2, negative 2, and 2. This is the column vector. And the direction vector of L2, line L2, is D2 which is 1 minus 1 and 1. Okay. Now we see that D1 is just a scalar multiple of D2. We can write D1 equal to 2 times D2. Because negative 2 and 2 is equal to 2 times 1, negative 1 and 1. Okay. Since D1 is a scalar multiple of D2, we can see that D1 is parallel to D2. Okay, and because the two direction vectors are parallel to each other, the lines will be either parallel or they will be coincident. Okay, so therefore, the lines. L1 and L2 will be either parallel or coincident. Let me show you the question once more. Show that L1 and L2 do not intersect. 
if these two lines are parallel then obviously they will not be intersecting but what if they are coincident then one will be on top of the other means they will not be having any separate identity unique identity it will be a single line so every point on line l1 will be a point of line l2 or every point of line l2 will be a point of line l1 okay that means in a way they are intersecting at every point you are not having a single point of intersection rather you are having infinite number of points of intersection okay. so let us show that you are not these two lines are not coincident let us first of all check whether they are coincident or not because they have said that show that they do not intersect so they, the lines shouldn't be coincident that we have to prove because if they are parallel obviously they will not be intersecting so now the question comes down to boils down to uh, proving of the two lines not to be considered as two coinc uh, coincident lines the two lines are not coinciding with each other this is what we have to prove now okay so for that as i said if they are coincident then every point on line l1 will be a point of line l2 and i am seeing let me uh, do the working for the proving of the non coincident part over here i can see 3 2 and negative 1 this is a point let me name this point as a 3 2 negative 1 i can get this point if lambda is equal to 0 so this point is on L1. Okay. I have taken this point from the line L1. By putting lambda to be equal to 0, I get this point. By getting uh, by substituting different values of lambda, we get different points on the line L1. That is how we get the different points. So by putting lambda value equal to 0, I am getting this point A, whose coordinates are 3, 2, and negative 1. And this is on line L1. And if the two lines L1 and L2 are coincident, then this point A should be also lying on L2. We have to check whether we are having any such points on L2 or not. Okay. If it, this point is on L2, then we have to say that these two lines are coincident because we have already seen that they are either these two lines are either parallel or coincident so first of all let us check how are we getting the point 3 to negative 1 we are we are putting the lambda value as 0 now coming to this equation vector equation of line l2 this is not having lambda it is having another parameter mu okay now we are seeing this is 2, 0, 4. This is a point definitely on this line L2 plus mu 1, minus 1, and 1. So, since I am seeing this as 0, let us take the y coordinate. You can take x coordinate or z coordinate, doesn't matter which coordinate you take, you will be getting the same answer. But because this is 0, I prefer to take the y code. Okay? And for the point A, for A, for point A, y is equal to 2. The y coordinate is 2. And if A is a point on line L2, then we will be having a point whose y coordinate is equal to 2 and let us first of all find the mu value so that the y coordinate is equal to 2 okay and we are seeing the y coordinate 
uh, y coordinate of any point on L2 is zero plus sorry zero plus mu times negative one is zero minus mu which is equal to mu okay therefore since we are trying to know whether the point a is lying on l2 or not therefore this minus mu should be equal to 2 if the a point is on l2 then minus mu has to be equal to 2 if point A is on L2, then minus mu is equal to 2 or mu is equal to minus 2. Okay? So, we have got the mu value. Let us see what are the x and the y coordinates for mu equal to minus 2. For mu equal to negative 2, the x coordinate, writing T O R D because I don't have much space remaining is 2 plus mu, 2 plus mu times 1, 2 plus mu times 1 is equal to 2 plus minus 2 times 1, which is 2 minus 2 equal to 0, okay? And I'm writing for the z coordinate, I'm writing on this side. The z coordinate when mu is equal to minus 2 is 4 plus minus 2 times 1. Okay, because it is 4 plus mu times 1, 4 plus mu. So, this is equal to 2. Therefore, the point on L2 with the y coordinate as 2 is 0, 2 and 2. The z coordinate is 2, the x coordinate is 0 and the y coordinate is 2. Which is, it's, which is not pointy. Okay, so taking another color just to because not having much space, highlight what I am writing, I am taking another color. Therefore, L1 and L2 do not intersect. Okay, they are parallel lines, they do not intersect. They are parallel lines. Okay. The 
they are parallel assessments. So we have completed subpart A and now we come to subpart B. It is saying the minimum, find the minimum distance between L1 and L2. Okay. This subpart B contains five marks. And these two are the vector equations of the two lines. We have already seen that the line L1 and the line L2, they are parallel to each other in subpart A. Let this be line L1 and let this be line L2. And let this be the A point. I'm taking the same point. You can take any other point. This A point was having coordinates as 3, 2, and negative 1. 3, 2, negative 1. And because they are asking for the minimum distance, we have to get obviously the perpendicular distance. So I am dropping a perpendicular from this point A on line L2. This is perpendicular to the line L2 and because these two are parallel to each other, this will be a perpendicular. These two are co-interior angles. They will be supplementary. This one and this one, they are alternate interior angles. So they will be equal. So this line is perpendicular to both line L1 and L2. And let us name this point as B because we have to refer to the this point by some name. So I'm naming it as point B. Okay. What will be the coordinates of this point? It will be 2 plus mu. Let me write the coordinates. 2 plus mu. 0 minus mu, that is minus mu. 4 plus mu. Okay. Now, if we get the AB vector, because we have to know the minimum distance. So, first of all, we have to get the AB vector and then we will be getting its magnitude. So, how to get the AB vector? First of all, since we know the coordinates of this point A and we are knowing the coordinates of this point B as well in terms of mu. So, let us write the AB vector. AB vector is equal to 2 plus mu minus 3 minus mu minus 2 4 plus mu minus of minus 1 is plus 1. So this is equal to 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So it is mu minus 1. This is minus mu minus 2. And this is mu plus 5. This is the AB vector in terms of mu. And now obviously we have to get the magnitude of AB vector. So we have to first of all know the value of mu. For getting the value of mu, we will be doing the dot product of this AB vector with the direction vector of either L2 or L1. Any one you can take. I am taking the direction vector of L2 because it is all 1 and negative 1. So I am taking P2. The direction vector of L2. So, 1 minus 1 and 1. Therefore, AB dot D2 should be equal to 0. And we get the dot product. So this is mu minus 1 
times one plus minus mu minus two times minus one plus mu plus five times one. Okay, equal to zero. So it is mu minus one plus mu plus two plus mu plus five equal to zero. And mu plus mu is plus mu is three mu. And minus one plus two is plus one plus one plus five is plus six. So three mu will be equal to minus six. Or mu is equal to minus two. Okay. So since mu is equal to minus two, AB vector is mu minus one minus mu minus two. Let us write the AB vector once more. AB vector is equal to mu minus one minus mu minus two. Mu minus one minus mu minus two and mu plus five. So this is mu plus five. So now we will be substituting this value of mu, the minus two. So this is minus two minus one. Mu is minus two. So minus mu is two. Two minus two and minus two plus five. This is equal to minus three, zero and plus three. Okay. So now we have to get this, the magnitude of this AB vector. Therefore, the magnitude of this AB vector will be negative three whole square plus positive 3 whole square because 0 square is 0. I'm not writing that. You want, you may write that as well. Okay, let me write it to be making, uh, make things more clear. So 0 square plus 3 square. So this is 9 plus 9, which is 18. And 18 is 9 times 2, so this will be equal to 3 root 2. Okay. Therefore, the minimum distance between L1 and L2 is 3 root 2 unit. Okay. This is the answer. This is the answer to subpart B, minimum distance between L1 and L2. We have given the answer to subpart B. So we have solved this question number eight completely. And let me give you my introduction a bit. I'm Nilanyana Sanyal, I tutor IB Math, ASL and HL students online. 
from inside India and outside India. And I am starting my group online tutoring sessions for IB Math ESL and HL students from the month of July. So if you are interested in joining my classes, you may contact me. You are getting the my email ID, my WhatsApp number. You know, these are getting displayed, so you are seeing them. If you want, you can contact me for more details. Okay? And thank you for staying with me till the end. We meet again in our next session where we will be solving question number nine of this paper. So till then, bye.